What is going on guys? Welcome back. I hope all of you are doing great. So today what we are going to do is start on a brand new project. What I have planned for the day is to start something over on the shopsmith. Now I haven't done an actual project on the shopsmith. I've tinkered around with it a few times and it's been um, fully restored for a few months and I haven't touched it and I've been itching to get going on it. After I finish the hutch, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to bust out a project on that. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. And let's get into it. So the shop smith that I have is, I think, from the 1950s. Now that is pretty freaking old. And the reason why I got it is to primarily use it as a lathe. And, you know, I have all of these other tools in the shop that the shop smith is able to do. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get the shop smith specifically for a lathe. And that's what I've restored it for. That was the whole point of it. So what we're going to do is turn a segmented bowl. So this project is probably going to be either two or three days. Hopefully it will only be two days, but we'll see what happens. So the first step in this process was to first find all the material that I wanted to use for this project. And then what I also did was I went over here onto my iPad, onto a website where you can actually type in the diameters and um, the amount of segments that you want in the bowl. And then it could calculate all the angles that you need to do and the, the measurements. So what I have right here is a couple pieces of red oak that were left over from the hutch. Now, whoa. now the thing about oak is that it can splinter out and it, it's a little bit delicate to work with. It's not, it's a hardwood, but it's not, um, it doesn't have the same properties as some of the other woods that are easier to turn. So what we're going to do is turn this into a segmented bowl by cutting these into little pie shapes. So when we actually turn this, we'll be turning on to the edge of the, the wood. So it's not going to splinter out. It should leave a really smooth, nice finish and it should look really, really good. So I cut out all these strips now for all of the, the layers of this segmented bowl and I put a board here on my crosscut sled and screwed it down. There's going to be a total of 10 pieces in each segment so that means that the angle that I need to cut on all of these is going to be 18 degrees. So I put this board here and then I'll clamp this other block on the other side so I could get the right width of each segment and then I'll just adjust this block back and forth depending on how wide it needs to be for each ring. I think this will make some of you guys very, very happy. I finally got a respirator, I know. 3M, they didn't send this to me, I bought it with my own money. So I didn't buy this respirator just to please other people, I also did it to please myself because my lungs are young, I'm still 17 years old, I have a very long life to live, and I don't want sawdust to be an issue down the road. And 
This respirator in particular is a large and no store around here had a large. I ended up buying a medium, I didn't like it. For the last couple weeks I've been going in and out of different stores trying to find a respirator that actually fits my mouth and all of them were too small so I had to go to online, go to online, I had to go online and purchase one there and now I put this one on a couple times and it fits perfectly, it fits my face and I'm happy about that so I will definitely be wearing this all the time out here in the shop. Thank you to all of you who kept nagging me about this, I know, I know. Um, here you go. <laughs> so, I'm going to throw that on and we're going to continue this project. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a whole lot of fun working out here. It really was. So, I got this all clamped up in a big bundle. And tomorrow we're going to take this out of the clamps. Glue, the glue will be dry by then. We'll turn it, we'll sand it, we'll finish it. And I think this is going to look amazing. I had a lot of fun cutting out all the segments and doing that. That was actually... Um, more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be. So it was a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow is going to be a really fun day. That's going to be the first uh, real project that I'm going to be doing on the lathe or the shopsmith, whatever you want to call it. So definitely look forward to that. If you're watching this in the future, I will leave a link somewhere at the end of the video where you can go and watch that. Also, if you would like a Wesley Airing t-shirt to support me and my channel and to help me buy some more tools, Go down in the description and there's a link where you can get one of these. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a whole lot of fun out here today. It's like 10 o'clock right now, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.